Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have the Proving Wallace Formula Part 2 for you guys. So why don't we just get into the proving? So this, there's no any particular question to this video. It's just continuing on of what we did last time. And if you watch the video that we did last time, then you'll see that we had, we had evaluated the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the power of nx dx. And we actually define this to be i of n. And in the last video, we've done a whole bunch of stuff just to see what i n is equal to. But there are actually two cases, if you recall. The first one, if n is even, or i of 2n, this one was actually equal to 2n minus 1 double factorial over 2n double factorial times pi over 2. And the odd version, i of 2n plus 1, is equal to the, top, the bottom being 2n plus 1 double factorial and the top being 2n double factorial. And of course, if we know these two, then we can obviously know i of 2n minus 1, which is the other odd case. And this is actually equal to the bottom is 2n minus 1 double factorial, and the top is 2n minus 2 double factorial. Okay? Well, let's take a closer look. So, in between 0 and pi over 2, sine x is between 0 and 1, correct? So, this implies that the larger powers you apply to sine of x, the value will get smaller. So then, this implies that the greater the power, um, it de the value decreases. So, this means that i of 2n plus 1 is less than i of 2n and i of 2n is less than i of 2n minus 1 right okay so we can substitute um i of 2n plus 1 i of 2n and i of 2n minus 1 into this inequality and since i don't have space here i'll just write it here so it becomes 2n double factorial over 2n plus 1 double factorial is less than i of 2n, which is 2n minus 1 double factorial over 2n double factorial times pi over 2. And this is less than i of 2n minus 1, which is 2n minus 2 double factorial, 2n minus 1 double factorial. Okay, so now we have to try and create the Wallace formula from the middle term. And I'm saying the middle term because when we take the limit as, as n goes to infinity, of the Wallace, then it becomes the complete Wallace, then maybe we can get some squeeze theorem in play. So, uh, let's see. Look at the Wallace formula. The top is 2n double factorial, but here the bottom is 2n double factorial. So this implies that we should take the reciprocal. But, just a reminder, if you take the reciprocal, then you have to change these signs. So we have 2n plus 1 double factorial over 2n double factorial is greater than, because we switch the signs, and then the bottom, and then the middle term will be the bottom is 2n minus 1 double factorial, and the top is 2n double factorial times, don't forget to take the reciprocal of pi over 2, which is 2 over pi. And this is greater than 2n minus 1 double factorial over 2n minus 2 double factorial. Okay, so let's look at the Wallace formula. The top is 2n double factorial squared, but here we only have power of 1. 
So then, shouldn't we multiply the top by two and double factorial? Right? Look at the bottom. 2n minus 1 double factorial squared. And then this is also only power of 1. So then we should multiply another 2n minus 1 double factorial. And the bottom, there still is a 2n plus 1. So don't forget to still multiply by 2n plus 1. So this is what we need to multiply. Okay? So we have 2n plus 1 double factorial over 2n double factorial times this and this is greater than the middle is just the Wallace formula but just a little note this Wallace formula is not complete because the complete Wallace formula is with the limit but here it's everything but without the limit so that's just this little note and this is greater than this multiply by this okay well now the cancellation starts. Well, first of all, we see this and that cancel. And we know that 2n plus 1 double factorial is equal to 2n plus 1 times 2n minus 1 double factorial, right? And look, they're the same. So we can just cancel all of these terms out. So on the left hand side, we get pi over 2. And this is greater than the incomplete Wallace formula. And this is greater than this let's see well first of all this and that cancel and we know that 2n double factorial is equal to 2n times 2n minus 2 double factorial so this and that can cancel but the top will just leave a 2n so this is greater than 2n over 2n plus 1 times pi over 2 and now we can take the limit as n goes to infinity on both sides to get the full complete Wallace. So we know that the limit as n goes to infinity of a constant, it stays the same. So it will stay pi over 2 is greater than the complete Wallace and it's greater than this. If we take the limit as n goes to infinity of this, we can ignore this for now. But the limit as n goes to infinity of this is obviously 1, right? And 1 times pi over 2 is just pi over 2. And like I said before, we hoped that there would be a squeeze theorem, and there is. So by the definition of the squeeze theorem, we can deduct that the Wallace formula is equal to pi over 2. How cool is that? Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy my videos, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.